Cool. We're recording. We are started. Here's our spring 2021 mod pair meeting. Everything that you need to know for this spring in order to have a successful spring season. All right. So a real quick itinerary for tonight. First off, please always feel free to ask questions. That's key to making sure everything goes smoothly. Um, we're going to touch on communication, Saratoga's athlete code of conduct, our on the water practice schedule, which will be shifting soon. So make sure we pay attention. Um, our tentative race schedule, we do have races coming up this spring, which I'm sure we're all looking forward to. What to wear and bring to practice our SRA parent handbook, which is a resource for all of you as well as our COVID-19 considerations and protocol. So communication and questions, uh, and we will send this out tomorrow uh, in a follow-up email, but these are kind of your coaches, Coach Abby and Coach Morgan will be working with the sixth and seventh grade girls. Uh, Coach Bean, Coach Mo, and Coach Veronica will be working with the eighth grade girls, and Coach Megan and Coach Kevin will be working with all of the boys, right? Uh, any sort of day-to-day -day stuff, uh, you know, I'm, I'm running late for practice. Send the email directly to your squad leader. Uh, you can send it to me or Abby, but we're just going to forward it to, to one of these coaches, right? Uh, and then on the administrative side, uh, there's myself, there's Coach Kat, our executive director, uh, and Catherine Smith, our uh, director of finance. Uh, and you can always ask us questions, all right? Practice time, where to pick up, what to wear, pick up, drop off. Uh, yes, we roll in the rain. Uh, if you're absent, you're late. We always will appreciate, uh, we, we get questions one of two times. We either get a question before an event, uh, like, hey, uh, are you, are you going to row today? Or we get it after an event, hey, why didn't anyone tell me about X, Y, Z? we always will appreciate the proactive questions, all right? So we encourage you, send any of us uh, an email. If you have any questions about anything, we're happy to help if it makes uh, everyone's life a little easier. <laughs> Excuse me. Bless you. Thank you. <laughs> all right, up next, we have our athlete code of conduct. We really wanna drive home that rowing is a privilege that must be actually kept through character. So. When you pay your registration fees, that really only gets you in the door. Athletes have to earn their privilege to row through their words and actions. Those who don't abide by these regulations and whose actions are unbecoming will be asked to leave. So when we send out uh, our update email tomorrow, we are going to send along a link for the Athlete Code of Conduct. Please be sure to read through that thoroughly and also talk through it with your athlete. Um, from there, we're gonna need it signed by both you and your athlete and then returned back to us. Um, there are two ways you can do that. We would prefer it to come through email. So you can scan it in, take a picture of it, get it to us through email, or you can bring it to practice. Um, if you do email it, it's gonna go directly to my email. So abby.albright at Saratoga Rowing. Um, and we would like to have these returned to us by April 15th. So All here's right. our, oh, that's Abby, sorry. <laughs> Up next, we have our practice schedule. I really want to drive home that this starts on April 12th. That is the earliest date that we will be getting on the water. Some of the varsity squads might be getting on earlier than us, but we're going to wait a little bit longer until after April break to get on the water. Um, it's not a guarantee we're going to get on the water on April 12th, but sometime after that date, all weather dependent for safety. But this schedule starts on April 12th. Be sure to take a close look at your squad's practice times. You'll notice that each squad has one training day at the, or one land day at the training center every week. If you don't know where this is, it's right across the bridge from the boathouse on the left-hand side. Every other day beside for that will be at the boathouse. If we have any weather changes and we have to shift over to the training center, that will be communicated the day of via email and group me. So it's always a good choice. Just check the weather, 
check your group name, make sure that you're, you know where you're going as you're on your way to practice. And then one other note on the schedule is that we will not be having practice the week of April break. So the week of April 5th to the 9th, all mods will have that week off. Thanks, Abby. Uh, here's our tentative race schedule. And this is exciting uh, because this will be uh, the most races our mods have had uh, in, in quite some time. We've got four races. Uh, the first one will be May 7th. Uh, it is a Friday. So sixth and seventh graders have Fridays off, but we are going to ask them to come on May 7th. Uh, so they can be part of that race. Uh, Brass is the Berkshires Rowing and Sculling Society out of uh, the Berkshires. They're going to be here on May 29th. Uh, we will do mod championships again at Shen on June 4th. If you rode in the fall, very similar layout uh, as the fall over at the, the casino. Uh, and we will have a scrimmage against Niski. Uh, we had that lined up for, we had a date picked up and then there was a conflict. So we got to find a new date. Uh, and we're going to emphasize because of COVID, like everything in our lives, it is tentative and subject to change. So uh, this is what we're going with. This is what we're, is in our calendar. Uh, but also we, we have to acknowledge the fact that we need to be uh, mentally flexible and this could change. All right, up next we have what to wear and bring to practice. It's extremely important, especially in the early spring to make sure we're dressing appropriately. We're gonna see all sorts of elements, rain, cold, sun. It's, it's really important to make sure that we're dressed appropriately. Um, for some of the warmer weather, we suggest having dry wig t-shirts and tank tops, spandex or shorts, hats, visors, sunglasses, and then most importantly, Make sure we always have water, sneakers, and sunscreen. No matter what the weather, those three are crucial. And then in the colder weather, make sure that we have sweatshirts or cold gear. Under Armour has some really nice stuff that's um, it's fitted. It keeps you really warm. Uh, we also highly advise long spandex or sweatpants. And then again, water, sneakers, sunscreen, always important. In the cold weather, it's really, it's really important to have the layers because if you get too hot, you can always take layers off. But if you don't have enough clothing on, there's not much we can do. So I always advise having more than you think you need. Um, and if you're not dressed appropriately, if it's really cold out, we might not allow someone on the water just for safety. Uh, we do have a Saratoga clothing order going on right now, which closes this Friday. Nothing on that order is mandatory, but if you're looking for any gear, it's a great place to start. Abby, um, someone asked, um, one of the moms asked about if there's something they have to wear to the races. Specifically, what they should wear is their uniform at a race. I would just tell them blue shorts, blue shirt, um, if they don't have Saratoga rowing gear. Um, and one other thing to add for the cold weather is um, pogies will be available to purchase. I'll start bringing those down the week we're still off the water. So if anyone wants to get them ahead of time, we hopefully don't need them much, but when it's cold and you do need them, you want them. And that's a pogey is some, a mitten that goes over your hand so you can have your hands on the oar and not have gloves. We don't really like gloves because you can't really feel the oar in the water. Oh, thanks. I will. Oh, go ahead, Abby. Oh, no, I was just saying thanks. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, I will add in two more points of what to wear, what to bring. Uh, we will have another store opening up soon. The, the link here uh, that and we'll provide all these links uh, that, that you need. Uh, we'll provide an email tomorrow. Uh, as well as the notes for uh, the YouTube channel. You know, when we post this to YouTube, we'll put all the links in, in, uh, in the description. Uh, this gear here uh, is sweet. I have some of it myself. I'm really excited for it. I'd call it like fan gear. Uh, we'll have a, a race uh, uni link going out. In the past, the mods have been required to have a, uh, 
a long sleeve shirt to race in is a, is a mod uh, long sleeve, we, we call it. Uh, that has more race gear. Uh, just kind of a, an idea as you're making your own personal budget. There will be another one coming out. Uh, and uh, a note about the cold weather. The water we're rowing on was ice a week ago. So everyone, it, when it's sun, like today, it was sunny at 65. That water was ice a couple days ago. The water is still very cold. Uh, and when you're sitting in a rowing shell, your bum is literally surrounded by water that was just ice. It is cold. So everyone's like, oh, it's sunny at 65. I'm going to show up in shorts in a tank. Uh, don't. It's cold. Uh, and once you get out, once the sun goes down, it gets colder faster. So I want to reiterate that. Be warm. All right. Uh, so next we have the SRA Parent Handbook. This has been built up with, from frequently asked questions from parents. We're going to send this link out. If you're ever, if you have a question, this is a great resource to look at. But also remember, if you have questions, feel free to reach out to any of the coaches. COVID considerations. So these are a couple of things that uh, we want to remind everyone. Uh, so far, knock on wood, the, the boathouse has been a, 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 a safe, and, safe and healthy place. Uh, we've been able to run programming since first week in June, uh, and we've been good. Uh, we haven't had any, any, any contact tracing brought to the boathouse. We haven't had any, anything get shut down. Uh, and we intend on staying that way. All right, so a couple things, and you see it here, same as, as it's been for the past year. If you have COVID, stay home. If you're sick, stay home. If someone you live with is sick, stay home. Uh, if, if someone told you, if a government official told you to stay home, stay home. Uh, if you uh, have been in close contact with someone with COVID, stay home, right? Uh, this is about being a great teammate, right? And looking out for the best interest uh, in, in, in for the team, right? It, it's amazing how quickly the mentality switched. It used to be, you got the sniffle, tough it out. And that has that is gone. Those days are over. If you have the sniffle, stay home. Uh, we, we really can't... Uh, we're finally back on, on the water. We're back to racing. We, we kind of have uh, something to look forward to that we're excited about. And we, we want to stress this, uh, that, that we need, it only works if we look out for each other, right? Uh, athletes are going to be asked to wear their mask on land, right? So if you have, uh, so once they get on the water, they will be able to take their mask off. We're going to ask that they wash their hands before practice, right? Uh, and most of the boathouse will be in pods. For the, for the mods, they kind of make their own pods, eighth, eighth grade girls, seventh grade girls. The boys are the pods. The varsity is broken down into groups uh, of, of 10 to 12 of their own pods. Uh, so that is something we will send out our COVID protocol, which can be found on our website. Every season, we update them to make sure uh, that we're staying up to date, that we have the latest information as uh, the CDC publishes stuff, as the U.S. Rowing publishes new information, we make sure we update it, and any major changes get, uh, get posted there. Again, we'll make sure we include that link tomorrow. All right, so our main takeaways from this presentation, please always feel free to ask us questions. Be sure to read your emails. Sometimes they'll get a little bit lengthy, but there's a lot of important information in there. So check your emails, read them thoroughly, and please don't bring sickness to the boathouse. No one's gonna be mad if someone misses a practice just to make sure that they're safe. Um, we love what we do and we wanna keep doing what we do. So let's all make smart decisions and we can, we can all do that. Um, and again, this entire presentation is gonna be posted on YouTube. Any questions, shoot us an email. Um, so many things have changed over this past year, but a lot of things have also stayed the same. Our goals and our expectations of ourselves and our athletes has stayed the same. 
We're so excited to have all of you here and incredibly excited for this spring season. So we're excited to have you guys with us and I will open the floor up to some questions. I, I have a question, this is Joy. Do you have a possibility to um, do like a list for anybody who would want to carpool? Like from, we live in Glens Falls and if anybody was up our way, it would be great. We had a great carpool last year, but I know some of those girls are varsity girls. So I think they're probably at a different time, but um, is there a possibility to just put it out there if anybody um, could carpool? Thanks. Uh, that's, a, that's an excellent question. Uh, we've done a carpool in, in the past uh, where what we have parents do, and I can help set this up, is fill out a, a Google form where it says, are you willing to give it, you know, are you willing to give a ride? Are you willing, to, do you need a ride? Uh, where are you coming from? Where are you going? Uh, and then we kind of share that with everyone who has filled it out. Uh, we can't send, we, we can't, or the other option we can do is include a specific person email in, uh, in one of our news and notes for like, hey, Joy from Glen Falls is looking for a carpool. If anyone is interested, connect with Joy directly. Uh, what we can't do is send, a, send the email list out because then that gets, uh, it gets pretty messy. All right, but we do have a couple of things that we can do and, and I'll make sure that gets started Thanks. this week. Thanks, Mary. Yeah. Any other questions? Uh, uh, no, we are still recording. No bus this year. Uh, can't manage the bus company uh, with all the safety procedures and protocols. So unfortunately, there's no bus this year. Yeah. Uh, hopefully next year it's back. Uh, hopefully a lot of things are back next year. Hey, this is Chris. I just have a quick question. Um, so are the races, are they all in the same location? Or are we going somewhere for those? Yeah, great question. So Abby, why don't you talk about this one? Okay, so our scrimmages are going to be held at home. So our scrimmage with uh, ACA, Brass, and our scrimmage with Niski are all going to be at home. Um, modified championships will be held at the Shen Boathouse area. Yep. Um, more specific information is going to be coming out closer to that date, including where we're going to be location-wise and all of that. Um, but most of all of the scrimmages will be at home. Thank the you. Shen, the mod race was sweet last year. It's our first time racing there, and everyone got to watch from the the riverbank in front of the casino and that was socially all the space in the world and you got to see the whole race uh, which was pretty awesome excellent question about parent volunteering that's a that's a that's a heavy one all right let's get into it uh in a normal year there there's a parent there's a a family requirement of volunteering in addition to your dues. Uh, Saratoga hosts uh, three rate would host three big races in the fall or in the spring, two big ones in the fall. Uh, this year, because we didn't know what we're doing, we don't know what we're doing with, with these big races and how they're going to work. Uh, there's no requirement. But I can tell you that it looks like there are going to be some races and it looks like we're going to need some help and we're going to ask for help. And if you can, uh, please jump in. But we also recognize that everyone's time is super valuable and we're not going to ask for a bunch of parents or a bunch of family members and, and uh, people invested in, in, in rowing not gonna ask them to sign up and then not have a game plan for how to utilize them, All right? So we got to kind of figure out our race schedule, 
figure out which races are aren't happening. Uh, then figure out how we're going to pull them off. From my understanding, any races that we have will be without spectators. Uh, so then it's all right. Then how do we how do we do this? How do we do it uh, responsibly? And where do we need help? Uh, a lot of questions still being asked, uh, and I'm I'm asking daily because I want to start planning. Uh, so the short answer is: Is there any volunteer requirement? No. Uh, the longer answer: Not yet, but we may need help. And in that case, we're going to we're going to turn to uh, our families uh, and and ask for help. Well, that's a great question. Yeah. Any other questions? And again, you will have an opportunity to ask questions and I'm stopped recording, uh, but these are super helpful. Coach B, did we miss anything? Not so far, as we say, there are probably a lot of things that will come up when we know exactly where we stand in a few weeks. I mean, you know how everything with COVID changes every other week. So we'll just keep updating as we go. All right, so I'm gonna stop recording.